Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I mentioned a couple of vlogs ago that um, this was during the uh, roundup of February vlog that I'd made couple of changes uh, to what was going to happen this year in terms of publishing. Um, I'm still 100% aiming to get No Doors Allowed out by the end of the year and I just started the second edit through of it which is awesome. Uh, actually it's such a long book to get through and I'm, I'm only sort of focusing on editing on it, editing it on my days off, um, trying to work it alongside. I mean this time when I'm editing through it I'm also planning to go for like the, the scenes which are crossed over with the fourth book. I'm planning to get those scenes open at the same time so I can sort of look at it a bit more in depth and edit it a bit more cohesively together to um, help with the continuity and all that. Um, so it's going to be a long and difficult editing process uh, with no doors allowed. Um, I mentioned that in the meantime, um, I'd made a decision to get some of my shorter books um, out there, uh, which I'm still going ahead with. I've now done the first edit of the first of those two books, and I just started the first edit of the second of those two books. Um, I was actually really pleasantly surprised, and I, I've so far been really pleasantly surprised with the quality of them, uh, bearing in mind these would have originally been written when I just came out of, out of university. So we're talking about 10 years ago um, at this point, or thereabouts. Um, maybe a little bit before that, maybe a little bit after that. I can't remember exactly when I started uh, work on these ones. But I know it was around about that sort of time, just because of where the inspiration for um, the, the first book that I wrote, which is this the second book in the timeline, um, where the inspiration for that sort of came from and where a lot of the, the background stuff for that sort of pulls from. Um, so I know it was about 10 sort of years ago that I did initially write it. So when I actually uh, looked through it and um, the, the quality is still sort of reasonably close to to where I am now. I was actually like, oh, whew, that's half the work done for me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> obviously there, there are certain things that I've changed my mind about in the time since I originally wrote it. Um, so it's a lot of continuity stuff that I'm going through and I'm tightening up um, in both books. There are certain other things that I'm kind of like, um, because I'm not 100% sure yet if I'm going to do the latter two books in what is a four-part series. Um, I, I still very much think that the first two books are the stronger two, the, the stronger part of the series, I think, um, from what I can remember. And this might just be me remembering it uh, more harshly than, than I should, because, as I said, I've been very pleasantly surprised with just how good the first two books are. <laughs> um... But I remember, certainly in the fourth book, things getting very complicated and very all over the place. Um, I don't think the third book was quite as bad, but I think the fourth book definitely kind of went a little bit off the rails um, in some directions. Um, so at this point in time, I'm definitely thinking first book, second book, and maybe potentially um, the other two books later on if you know, I, I come to them and I sort of read them through and I kind of go, you know what, they're not so bad, they just need a little bit of work uh, to sort of make sense of them. Um, as it is, I think, you know, the first book and the second book, they're the stronger two books of the series, they make sense to go as a pair and, and they stand, they, they will stand together quite well um, because, as I was saying, you know, the, the second book was written to kind of to be a one-off anyway, so it's got a very definitive kind of ending to it um, and the first book leads into the second book um, quite nicely um, from how the ending is currently written so I think the plan going forward is to release them as book one and book two um, of a currently two-part book series. 
I still haven't decided what the book series is going to be called yet. Um, <clears throat> so my big sort of debate um, when it comes to this series and the naming of this series is obviously there are, in reality, four books that have been written for it. Regardless as to whether or not I do end up releasing those other two books, the title of the series should kind of have the possibility of there being more books that could be connected to it because there are more books that are actually connected to it. Um, so I don't want to give it a title that full stop rules out the other two books from, from happening. Um, I mean, certainly the, the two titles I'm kind of debating for at the moment one of those titles would not work as well with the third book of the series, but would still be fine with the fourth book of the series. Um, and the other title probably can work with all the books in the series. Um, but given the era that we are currently living in, <laughs> I'm not sure if it works as well as it, it, it could, um, because it's going to give off the wrong, the wrong sort of idea. Um, or make it sound more sci-fi than fantasy horror, which is, which is what it actually is. Um, there aren't any sci-fi kind of elements in it. It is um, it's very much fantasy horror, kind of in the vein of how like things like Buffy is fantasy horror, um, where it's not, you know, designed necessarily to be like terrifyingly scary. There are bits of black humour in there, there is, uh, it, it, it allows my dark sense of humour to really kind of shine. <laughs> That's why I'm sort of enjoying it so much at the moment, because it, it's it's pulling from that sort of aspect of um, the fact that I can write sort of dark while still not being like really extremely gruesome and, and terrifyingly dark or, or anything like that. It's It's that sort of nice shade of grey kind of horror um, with lots and lots of fantasy elements um, and it's, it's, as I said, uh, some of those things where the other title, the other potential title to the series I could give it, <laughs> kind of just, just because of, um, just because of how these words would be interpreted now. Um, I mean, I, I think if if I were publishing this sort of 10 years ago, at the point in time where I kind of, I've wrote it, um, I could probably get away with it a little bit more without people instantly sort of jumping on the wrong thread. Uh, but now, um, certainly in light of books like um, whatever it is called, Player One, uh, Enter Player One or something like that. Um, but where the the whole idea of games is very much, people think of computer games first, um, and if you're talking about you know, playing games and stuff like that, people are, are instantly going on like the digital route rather than the, you know, the old playground sort of route, which is more where, <laughs> where this would want people to be thinking. Um, it's, it's definitely kind of a, I'm not sure if the title for the series would work with the right connotation now, as it might have, say, 10 years ago, um, 10 or more years ago, actually. Um, so the big debate kind of comes, do I go with a title that kind of rules out? The third book in the series from connecting quite as well. I mean, it will still connect because it's still got characters that you you meet um, in the first book in the series. Uh, so it's not like completely disconnected, but the, the title of it doesn't work quite as well um, for reasons. Um, do I go with a title that could work for all of the, the books? Um, potentially and, and could actually allow for other books to be written that aren't necessarily connected to the first two but could go on the same banner um, but doesn't necessarily give off the right impression for the series. <laughs> um, 
Or do I go with something completely different altogether? I mean, the folder the four books are currently saved in is, I think, called Shadow to Light or Light to Shadow or something like that, which was just kind of my working title for the series. I hadn't really kind of given them an actual official kind of title. Um, so I, I don't think I want to go with that one at all. I don't think that one works really at all for for the books as they are. It's, it's far too vague. Um, whereas uh, the title I'm kind of, like if I, if I just do it as two books and I might ignore the fact that there are two other books that could be released for this, uh, which I don't, I don't want to completely rule out releasing those two books. I know they're not as ready at this point in time, but I could do the work and I could get them ready and I could smooth out all of those things that I currently think are issues with them. Um, so I don't want to be in a position where I've titled the series something that doesn't make sense for the third book in the series. Um, but at the same time, at the same time, um, I'm kind of in this sort of, this weird sort of area where actually the, the other title, which also would work really well as kind of a uh, tagline for the series as a whole. So this is, this is the thing. It would work so well as a tagline for the first book, for the second book. I don't remember the third book quite as well, but I'm pretty sure it won't be out of place there. And again, it's like the, for the fourth book, because of all these these elements and things that are kind of, of brought, are brought in and, and the, the connotations that you can have on this tagline, as, as I said, you know, the, the fact that I'm debating it because there is a connotation which kind of doesn't go with, with you know, it is more of a sci-fi interpretation than the, the fantasy horror interpretation that I'm, I'm going for. Um, it works, it would work for the entire series, it definitely, definitely, definitely would. I know that it would. <laughs> but I'm like, it sounds too much like a sci-fi book series if, if I go like with that. I think, you know, I want people to not have the, the wrong impression, but it's an, an absolutely fantastic tagline and it's still going to be on the cover of the book. Um, so it might be one of those cases where people know it by that name, even if the series ends up with a with a different name, um, and I don't know, I don't know at this point in time exactly what I'm going to do about it. <laughs> um, the, the other thing with the more specific title, the title that definitely relates to the first two books and wouldn't work quite so well for the third book, and not as there again for the, the, for the fourth book, um, that it's also something people haven't heard of yet, unless you've watched some of these vlogs, in which case I've definitely mentioned them. <laughs> I've definitely mentioned this thing in, in one of my vlogs at some point. Um, uh, but it's it's a case of, it's not something that people have heard of, so it's not necessarily going to stick in people's minds as well as I would necessarily hope or like it to. I mean, the thing with the Never Eating collection, um, Never Eating is the name of the town that the books are for majority set in. Um, it's a town that the boys have grown up in. Um, okay, Never Eating is a completely fictional place. <laughs> but it's, I based the naming convention on the naming convention of places in, in Devon. So, Though it's a fictional place, it sounds like it it belongs. It sounds like it could be it could be real, and it's you know, it works because you've also got the word collection at the end, which you know ties up the the idea that it's it's a series. Whereas the specific name, um, the specific name option would just be the name of this thing, and people have yet to have heard of this thing. And although it's sort of mentioned in the first book it's not a definite thing until the second book <laughs> well it kind of is and kind of isn't but it, it it becomes much more relevant in the in the second book um 
So again, it doesn't it doesn't work as well as the tagline possible series title. And I'm just left, I'm just left, like seriously debating where I should go with this. Um, because there is a huge part of me that is like this other title, this other, this other possible series title, it's more of a tagline. It, 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 it's, it would make for a much better tagline than it would for a series title because it's, it's almost too long to be a series title. And yet, the shorter series title doesn't work for its own reasons, even though it does kind of work. And I'm just like, I don't know, I need a name for this series. I need a name for this series. I mean, I know the name of the book. <laughs> I need a name for this series that works. It doesn't just sound like a tagline. Um, it won't give the wrong impression of the series. I'm like, I just don't know. I don't know what to call the series at the moment. And that's kind of frustrating because I want to get this these two books turned around and out there as quickly as possible because um, my game plan going forward with this is to try and release as many books in a year as I can and knowing that the Never Eating Collection books are long, <laughs> difficult books <laughs> to, to do the editing process for, they, they are time consuming to do the editing process for, you know, I'm only going to be able to release one of those a year but that doesn't mean I can't be getting on with, with smaller projects and getting through my backlog and, and stuff like that so um, I'm, I'm very much at that kind of point where I'm just like, I need to be seriously thinking about this and, and seriously considering this and, and trying to get that turnaround as, as quick as possible. I'm much, much more proficient at the whole editing process than I used to be. I've got a much clearer idea in mind for how I want these two stories to, to be and, and the information that's getting across in these two stories and, and how they connect together and the continuity and stuff like that. I, you know, uh, the last couple of years I basically had this huge crash course in how to edit and, and how to be a proficient editor. Um, and I'm still learning and I'm still improving, obviously. I'm, I'm not perfect. I'm one person. <laughs> um, but it, it's kind of a case of these two books, I don't feel like this huge massive thing. I think I can turn them around reasonably quickly. I managed to get, I think it took me about two weeks in total um, of on and off editing um, to get through the first book. It's probably going to take me the same amount of time to get through the second book. Um, and then it's just a case of, you know, going at it as, as many times as I need to and making sure the continuity lines up and making sure that there aren't any... Um, any real big issues that I need to worry about and then it's the uh, I, I think I can get this turned around reasonably quickly I think I can get it turned around by June if I'm really on it or, or sooner um, I really think I can I really think I'm like so there with it but <laughs> that means I have to be thinking at this stage, right, this is what it's going to be called, I need to be thinking at this stage, right, I need to be building up hype for it, I need to, you know, get people knowing about it, and I can't even decide on the series name. And that's kind of frustrating. <laughs> it's kind of very frustrating. Um, I have a tagline for the series, and I, I definitely, I definitely think the other possible series name is it's such much it's so much better a tagline than it is anything else so that's in my head that is just a tagline for a ser for all the series i just need to think of a name for the series that will work um most of the two books are definitely getting released and potentially for the other two books if i ever decide that actually no i, I should go ahead and release them um and, and complete the series that was created um it's such a hard, such a hard decision to have to make. Um, and I'm like, at this point in time, when I I know I can get through this editing reasonably, reasonably quickly, because um, I think I must have done an edit through of it at some point in the past before, just because of the way it had been formatted when I came through and reformatted it. <laughs> um, 
just because you know the the level of quality was actually surprisingly good um, compared to what I was expecting. Um, and yes, there are a few continuity things that I'm trying to clean up, clear up here and there. And yes, there are certain details that I'm contemplating adding in or you know developing a little bit more to maybe extend the books a little bit. Um, as they are, as they stand, I'm working with a really solid base. So half the work that I thought I was going to have to do has already been done, essentially. And I'm just going through and tidying things up, which is what you want to be doing at this sort of stage if you want to turn things around reasonably quickly. <laughs> and then I'm like, OK, but if I'm turning things around reasonably quickly, I need to be making so many decisions about marketing now. <laughs> And I just don't, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do this going forward. Um, and I still haven't given you guys that much details about, <laughs> about anything. Um, any sort of specifics to do with this series. Um, and then, you know, it, it is just, it's just one of those cases where at the moment I'm just, I want to be able to give more details than I am because I, I feel like I can get these these books turned around reasonably quickly um, and I have made a definite decision now that it is going to be book one and book two just because just because of the way book one ends it's definitely yeah that that's that's you could read them in the other order and I wouldn't stop anybody from reading them in the other order but there is a chronology. There is a chronology to, to how the books um, progress story-wise, and it definitely makes more sense in my mind to kind of go, no, this is book one and this is book two because that's the order of events that happen, and you know that makes sense. It's not like the Neverwinter collection where you get things that are sort of happening alongside each other and and they could all be read in different orders because they're all written to be definite standalone books. Book one, book two is written to be standalone, book one has definitely been written as a prequel. Therefore it is book one, book two. Um, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it's a case of I'm really excited about what I'm doing at the moment and I'm really focused on what I'm doing at the moment and then I'm really, oh my god, I've got to make so many decisions and I don't know, I don't know what the right decisions to make are because I don't want to cut myself off from possible future decisions and Oh, oh, it's so tricky. It's so difficult. <laughs> I don't know what to do. But as I make some time decisions about stuff, I will let you guys know. If I, you know what I'm like. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, I apologize for this film being very vague about absolutely everything <laughs> i didn't intend for it to end up that way you guys um though i will give you some definite pieces of information um for rounding this film off so i told you guys that i keep you up to date with any um free book giveaways that I'm doing this year um, because of the way the vlogs kind of panned out I didn't let you guys know about the um, giveaway for the colours I see which was the beginning of this month um, beginning of March um, I do always like post about it on my Facebook page um, and on my Twitter <laughs> so if you want to absolutely 100% 100% be kept up to date with it you know, follow me on Twitter that's probably the best way because I do like this whole big countdown um, so I did the giveaway as another five days in a row um, which was actually more successful because of the day I think because of the day that I started it on I'm not 100% sure 
Um, but it was more successful than the previous two were, which was fantastic and great, but I'm still not getting any reviews yet, which is still frustrating because not getting reviews is uh, one of the things at the moment I think is hindering um, potential sales. So it, it, it's kind of a, yeah, there are a lot of copies of the book out there and there are more copies of the books out there now than I've ever had, but without getting reviews back, it's it's still tediously slow. It, it still feels like it's it's really sort of sort of dragging. Um, so because of the way the free book giveaway went last time, I'm going to experiment a little bit with the upcoming Hyena Boy one. Um, so Hyena Boy's reset. <laughs> It, it new kit, it new select cycle um, starts on the fifteenth, which is no, it starts on the sixteenth. The fifteenth is the last day. The sixteenth is when it renews, uh, which is two days away from the point in time that I'm recording this. Um, however, Sunday and Monday last with with the 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 Sunday and Monday were the best two days um, on the previous on, on uh, the Colours I Seems giveaway um, by by quite a bit, they were the best two days. Um, so I've decided to break the giveaway because I can into two sections. I, I can't use more than five days. So they don't have to be five consecutive days. So... <laughs> So, and this is what, what the news is for you guys, um, because it will still be in advance. Uh, it, this video will still be going out before the first part of the giveaway. Um, so I'm planning to do a free giveaway um, for Hyena Boy on the 22nd, 23rd, I think that's the, the Sunday, Monday. No, it would be the 20, yeah, 22nd, 23rd, because the 24th is the Tuesday. Now, it has to go back to normal price on the Tuesday, um, because that's when, yeah, it's 22nd, 23rd, it'll be free. It'll be back to normal price on the Tuesday, because it needs to be for its uh, Booksy um, promo. Um and it needs to be a normal price for that because it's it's a bargain booksy and it's not the free booksy and I don't want to have wasted my money there uh, since I've already prepaid for it. Um, it will then be free again the 29th, 30th and 31st. So um, basically I'm seeing if those days are the better days for having a free book promotion and how breaking it up affects the promotion. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of experimenting with, with how I do that at the moment. Um, the idea being the more books that are out there in the hands of people, the more likely I am to start getting reviews. And once I start getting reviews, everything else will just become a little bit easier. Essentially, that's, that's kind of my way of, of looking at this right now. So, yeah, so letting you guys know again, um, Hyena Boy will be free March 22nd, 23rd, and then again the 29th, 30th, and 31st, with it being at normal price, sort of in between all that. Um, and then one last piece of news to round all of this off, uh, Echo's paperback has finally been released. <laughs> um, so yeah, Echo's paperback has finally been released. It is £7 in the UK and various other prices depending on where else you are in the world. Um, the most expensive place for it, and I do apologise to any of my US viewers, but it is the United States. And part of that is because there is an option that allows you to basically get it distributed to actual retailers um 
as as an option but in order for you to have that option they they, they make you price it higher um and depending on how that goes over the next few months i might take that away and then drop the price of it back to to its what it should be what should be its equivalent to the seven pound um, uk price um but i've got to give the option a try first um for obvious reasons i mean it, it doesn't it doesn't benefit me <laughs> financially <laughs> um as much as as you guys would think i've set the price as low as i possibly can um on that option so although if you're buying it through amazon directly i'm getting a decent amount the distributing option i'm only getting like 4p for, for each copy sold through through that option so in some ways it's like it, it, it's a good option to try but it's not something that you know if it, if it doesn't work if it doesn't bear any results um within a couple of months i'll probably take that away and then just drop the the online version to a more reasonable price because i would rather encourage you know the average everyday seller um not seller i read the average everyday reader reader than um than necessarily to go through uh the other distributing distributing channels because it's just not it, it's a way of getting the book out there but it's not necessarily the best idea um but it you know it's it all depends on how how this initially goes because i've not tried it before and everything is worth a shot at this point at this point in my career everything is worth a shot so it's kind of more a case of i'd rather try it and it not work out then not try it at all basically um so yeah <laughs> yeah that's that's all the big the big sort of news uh that i can catch you guys up on um i know it's kind of been a bit weird sort of tagging it on to this very sort of vague sort of vlog um hope it's all made sort of sense to you i hope you guys are kind of excited to hear about the the two books that are going to be releasing before no doors allowed um at some point this year uh, probably june by by the speed that i'm going through it at the moment uh if not maybe sooner but potentially june <laughs> um and with that said i will see you guys next time see ya <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!